Chanakya. A man is great by his deeds and not by his words. Well, this is a prolific quote by Chanakya. Chanakya is a significant figure who has displayed a, who has played a very significant role in our ancient history. And today, the reason why I am talking about Chanakya is because the book we are discussing today revolves somewhere around Chanakya's life. Our ancient history, to be more specific, our Akhand Bharat and the modern politics. And to know more about it, let's welcome our guest for the day, Ms. Vandana Deshpande. Hello, Ms. Vandana. How Hello, are you Swati. doing? I'm fine. How are you, Swati? I am doing great. And as mentioned earlier, today we are having a live session where we will be talking about Chanakya and the life around him and the modern politics. And you all are watching the live session by the Book Reads. To know about Book Reads, well, Book Reads is a community where we discuss about books, authors, and everything related to literature. It's a community which connects all the like-minded people around and helps us connect with the literature mode. And uh, if you would want to be a part of this amazing community, then just tap on the link provided and you will be part of this super amazing community about books, literature and everything about it. So back to the live session again, Chanakya and the life around him. So before I jump into the book, so why don't you introduce about yourself first? Yeah, uh, first I want to thank Book Create Club, and it's it's really great because I came to know about various books, you know, uh, because we don't find hardly any time, you know, go search and get, you know, find a book. But just and uh, you know, I urge many people to join this group. Okay, and you're coming back to this uh, Chanakya's chant. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's always a you know very tough when people ask you which is your favorite book, you know, because there are great authors, there are Indian authors, and then foreign, and then great books are on there. You have read many books, and it's always tough. Yeah, like uh, which is your favorite? So I just picked this because you know uh, back then, like I have read many years before, but still, it it somewhere sits in my mind that which is your favorite book? Then it comes in my mind, Chanakya Stand, not because about this is an historical fiction theory but it takes you know author takes you switch between the two eras different eras right you know because now you are in contemporary india war where the politics play an important role here and then the author suddenly takes you back to the you know, thousands years before now the story will switch between past and present it's like a chess game you are going back and forth so the um, he narrates about the chanakya first and then um then comes takes you back to the contemporary india how the political games have been played so that's remained my you know that's the uh, why it's my favorite one of my favorite book so oh, yeah, yeah i'll just really amazing uh, to know about it well you have been into it profession before and yeah. an avid reader and also a person who finds yourself interest in the writing as well so is there any specific reason for you to pick this book in general or yeah tell us about the pick of this book yeah first of all i like to read uh, fictional and then thriller book and this is an historical fictional theory i have uh, i have always have interest in history also so this was you know keeping everything in a you know in close context right uh, so this is there are two paces in the story like first one it will trace back to you to your history you might have read like about the chanakya and the alexander and the chandragupta maurya empire but this the author ashwin sanghi is a famous historical uh, you know thriller writer so he will just make sure that you have been sitting in a grip till the end of the book so the first one it will it will take back you to the thousands years approximately 340 bc where mm -hmm. chanukya when after his father dies he will he will take an revenge he will take an oath that he will make a small child chandragupta maurya he will groom him and he'll make sure that he will be the king of uh, emperor of india so there will be a lot of strategies involved that right that's why the chanakya is famous for chanakya niti be a small you know small brahmin teacher in a, a village of uttar pradesh where he will pick one small slum child and he will take an oath that he sh she he will 
decide to make him as a prime minister of india um, making her move into political career so the girl child will not even know that what will be her future you know, he will make her to give the best education she will go abroad to study her uh, you know post graduation but suddenly you know uh, there the political agenda behind her education her upbringing everything and then she will not even know that how she will be been pushed into the political career so you you know that's the planning that's a political movement going behind everyone's life and how these the leaders will decide uh, who should be the front agenda political agenda so this this kind of you know uh, it, it's thriller it's fictional and there is a great amount of research done on the okay. chanakya yeah right because mm -hmm. when alexander was invading uh, you know uh, india there will be small kingdoms there was no front line any powerful emperor who could you know protect the country from the foreigner rules but mm -hmm. chandra uh, chanakya right he will make sure that he will groom this chandragupta maurya and uh, you know he will uh, he 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 will we know history right he will become the powerful emperor of india so there we it's not just about the chanakya it's we learn about lots of things about history like silk roads how the silk road has been prominent in the history we come to know about the takshila nalanda universities how the things were there that time and uh, what the persian kings were ruling uh, it is just not about the chanakya niti but it's about that era when there was no powerful king and about mm -hmm. the magal dynasties uh, the and how the the you know planning the strategies the chanakya will do to fulfill his aim so there is one part of this story and the next part is about the current contemporary india where the this small teacher gangadhar mishra will plan his own you know your know, stuff to make this slum child a powerful woman how does he convert her into a powerful woman about the powerful minister of india so mm -hmm. what sacrifice that woman should make she will go through in her life um, it's it's not easy the political career is not e easy uh, you have to give up your personal life everything so that's how the tale is been gripping you know you are suddenly in 430 you know 230 bc and then suddenly you jump back to your present day politics right. uh, it it's difficult as a writer when you think right it's it's not easy because most of the books will have the one story gripping front to and like well, same story dragging but here you are switching between the past and the present two different mm. stories two different eras but one mm. motive right to fulfill the right. aim what they have planned yeah. and that's what is important like how well because everyone does planning right we all mm. plan for life we all plan for future right. but who sticks to the plan that's important right so this book right. is that captivating like how well you have to plan for your future how future and how will you stick to it right so you mentioned that you know it's a parallel story running between the ancient yeah. indian story at the same time the modern happenings so yes. obviously it's not a very easy job for a writer to line up these things yes. and make sure that the audience or the reader is not confused between what's happening so how yes, do you yes. think the author has you know taken forward and uh, make sure like it's a smooth running happening yeah that that's a speciality of ashwin when i read his book right that's where he is like he is the master plan in writing all this uh, he is switching on between you don't even feel that you know you have been stuck you immediately just come back and rush to the present day politics so it's like you are going into the history you you know there he has written about the naga kanyas and you know right. persian ruler there is romans it's not just serious history stuff but there is there's right. everything and around and then you suddenly land into you know present day politics you go to bihar you go to kashmir you go right. you go to america and then you know again back to the it, it's interesting that's that's why i recommend everyone to read this book you know it, like especially the writers who want to try different writing styles and all this is very important like how do you make readers get stuck to the where because ultimately what's the best book you jump into the writer's imagination you jump into yeah. that era where they want you to take you to right mm -hmm. and when you jump then that's a perfect read right that's a perfect book right i guess as you said it's a perfect mixture i guess perfect blend rather the word would be right. because one yes. side we're seeing a mythology and about our ancient history which i guess not yes. many writers these days are focused on because right. we are getting right. highly influenced by the western worlds and the happenings so i guess yes. that's one where important where we know about our history 
and at the same time not exactly fiction but somewhere around like a thriller happening in the politics it's a yes, perfect yes. blend i feel perfect yeah even you know i was shocked like how does they used to kill the enemies back then mm-hmm. you know they used to train the ladies with poison in the mouth that they they would not consume they were trained like that that they would not consume mouth but they will be holding it their mouth and then they will kill the enemies by the trick tricks and all so it it's well fascinating research done it's uh, you know when i first you know got hold of this book um there were many famous author who had given their reviews on this book so it made me to pick you know from shashi tharoor from many other different uh, great authors they have uh, written the foreword on that so i thought why not just pick me at but it was very well done research it's just not fictional exactly but you know uh, mm-hmm. even the history research has been well done you know even the university we just have read you know history books but yeah, how exactly. far they the research means that ashwin says himself that he has actually read so many back and forth sanskrit book before writing mm-hmm. this uh, chanakya's uh, history and everything so in fact we will get to know all those details right and as you said i guess uh, it's important to know what our real history was because sometimes yes. you know we're just constructed to what's written in textbook like you know chanakya chandragupta maurya mm-hmm. ashoka the great and that's it like we're just lined up to it so it's important right. to know how exactly it is happening and i guess that brings us to a question out here so miss sonia asks in the book is the history to, true to the fact or is it fiction as well Uh, history is true to the fact because you know many historical fiction they say as a fiction but i i have what i have read most of the time it is i do research you know because it's curious when you read history you go back to the google and search it whether this what has happened right so it's human tendency to correct the facts but i have this as 95% it's always a history is true because authors do research right before writing anything they do research and then they frame the you know story around it um, some you know there will be love stories behind this because they have written the chandragupta maurya was fallen in love with the persian uh, daughter and how chanakya will make it it's tragedy that he make his to forget everything because he wanted him to be emperor of india so he cannot all this you know this stuff all that so that's how i go and research like okay this is a fact this was the story behind it so it it's fact most of them it's fact but what again he has done is fictional is he has brought the gangadhar gangadhar mishra story contemporary story back so this is the fictional thing you know he will use chanakya niti because he they have shown that continuously he will be reading the chanakya strategies planning and all to who was chanakya he was one of the great economist what we have been known right he has written arthashastra work we have been knowing so policies governors good governors so that gangadhar mishra that story is been fictional you know he will plot it so you have that political uh, story grooming around there everything so it just not again just history read because you know many readers young readers may find that um history is boring and all so it's mm-hmm. it's also a blend of uh, action action pace thriller romance is there and it's it's a kind of blend okay i mean i hope that answers to miss sonia's question now uh, that bring i mean the question that pops up to my mind right now is uh, as you said like we see ancient history and the modern thrillers happening around so what would you like to say about the setting because i guess both the settings are very much different what we mm-hmm. see in the ancient history and the modern setting like you all you mentioned like we get to explore about kashmir or bihar or somewhere else so how do you yes. say about the setting happening in the book Yeah, uh, right so so when you go back to your uh, you know thousands of years uh, ago so you see the settings will not be the same you know back and forth pakistan was still a part of india magad and you know everything afghanistan everything were part of india at that time we have those rulers still so uh, the you see that you know your travelers will be traveling through the forest going through the university was a different task and it 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 used to take months and years if you want to cross up on some borders and this and the current um, current india story was different there is the flight going on like there is a fly there is uh, everything is different so it, it yeah. it's right you know writer's imagination is very strong because he is putting everything in one frame one frame and even who is willing to write the books you know this pick is very important you know how do you switch between two different eras and uh, how do you captivate readers mind right now uh, talking okay before that we have a question again from miss maitri 
I haven't read any Ashwin Sanghi's book yet. Should I start with this book? Yes, definitely. I think his first book was Krishna's Key, which is which is a very famous book. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I that's also a great book. But since mm -hmm. I wanted this purely on Chanakya, I wanted to read this history stuff. So I thought mm -hmm. I you should start definitely with this Chanakya's chant. Right. And I guess Ashwin Sanghi is one such author who has brought a fresh new voice to the contemporary Indian fiction. Like yes. Not many writers usually write the blend of many genres together. So I think that's one you know special factor we can say about Ashwin Sanghi. Yeah, yeah. They, they should see there are thousands of writers around here. So what brings right. you special in your book, right? Why do hmm. we have to pick anyone's book? There should be something different, right. unique style of writing, unique style of storytelling. Right. So mm -hmm. it, it's that's where, where Ashwin, you know, he is the best in this writing thriller. And that's so important. You should be it should be gripping. Right. A page right. turner. Right. I mean, many people find their interest in uh, mythology like uh, Chanakini yes. and so on. And some people like politics. But again, these two are very uh, niche in gender. Everybody likes to pick these genres. So uh, do you think like a blend of these two would help like build up a new uh, new approach to reading? Yeah, because, yeah. In fact, you know, with these authors, I've been finding there are many different books coming in the market who have been like uh, mythological book, historical right. books in the market. Because when you start exploring reading, then you can, why not? we should write and explore more on our history, more on blending two different things together to create a unique style. So this is a great stuff. And you can compare it you know, with modern India and then with your uh, past medieval India. So you will compare all those stuff, how the things were and how the things today are, right? Okay. The plan I mean, may remain same, the strategy may remain same, but how do you execute that will differ obviously, right? right. Completely yeah. makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. Uh, this is especially for somebody like me who finds you know history and you know mythology to that minute very much interesting and fascinating. But eventually, you sometimes get bored with the you know too much detail. Sometimes what they're providing, which is not so relevant, and yes, at yes. times politics is something not exactly triggers, but again, it you know gives a very biased opinion. Because the politics yeah. itself sometimes will have an opinion being created and our ideology might not mindset with the, you know, the person being involved there. And I think this is one such book which might break this barrier and bring together both the things together. Yeah, that's what when I said it's not just about the political or history. It, there is a romance, there is a thrill going on here, everything. Because it's not an easy, when you see about the Ganga the pa, uh, Mishra's part of contemporary India, what... Uh, he will he when he raises a slum child the child will not even have any aware that who is funding her education until unless when she will really move into political career so that's the brief about you know the woman poor child how they will be you know um, it, it's it's totally different it's not just about the political uh, uh, political book i cannot say that it's a purely, purely political thriller so it's mm -hmm. about also the you know uh, the story of a child who happens to be enter into political career so how mm -hmm. she will go uh, into abroad to study and how her life will change after like you know the planning of a politician right i mean yeah. often we see like uh, a reader when he picks it's a particular genre like if i want to read history it will be completely on history politics yeah. completely on politics or somewhere yeah. fiction romance or something that particular yeah. so do you think the author has balanced all the genre out here or like is it constrained to a particular thing out no it, it's balanced so you you see their first chapter will take first start with the with current day indian uh, what's happening today with the, that you know girl child and then second chapter immediately he will take back to you to Chanakya's you know, childhood and everything. So that's how. Third page, again to the current day scenario. Fourth day, fourth chapter, again. So back and forth, you'll be switching. So, okay. you know, at the end of the book, you will realize, okay, so both had the plans, both had the strategies, and eventually the plan will succeed because they right. were focused on that. Hmm. So how well they focused is, is a, you know, it, it, that the take we need to take, see it. Right. I mean, by looking into the trailer of this book, I mean, quite often we don't find trailers of uh, books, but this is somewhere different in that. It is mentioned like 
war is politics without with blood and politics is war without blood so what is your take on this i i found it yeah. really very catchy in fact yeah yeah see of course why did chanakya uh, you know he will not decide simply no person will decide anyone to groom anyone right so it happens that um, his father was killed killed by magad ruler so he'll take an oath chanakya's oath we it's very famous oath that he will or to you know destroy that magad empire so he need someone to take up that right he need someone to challenge that magad ruler so mm-hmm. he will pick he will see that qualities in chandragupta so he will start grooming him he will make sure that he get the best but he was not any ruler right chanakya was not ruler anyways he was you know so that planning how he does how he will take that chandragupta he was he had the small army just small mm-hmm. army or kingdom and you know before he became an emperor inda was just a small it had all small kingdoms small mm-hmm. uh, here and here divided everything so mm-hmm. only you know in the history right maurya chandragupta mekam became the first emperor of india that's where the dynasty started mm-hmm. so and then the finally that will be showed that how chanakya had he was selfish he was selfish mm-hmm. but his motives were different right he the right. economics he built so that's what we need to care take forward from his right so i mean when he's what is there what is there and even in the second part what we say in the different part of the story hmm. it it's again a selfless ruthless goal of someone right um, hmm. when i say gangadhar mishra he was a teacher but what made him to pick one child and make her go into the political theme he was also ruthless like you know make women uh, because he had made himself some promise and what politics makes you is it's it's different we when we see a film we only see as a characters playing but what yeah. happens behind the scene we never know right similarly with any political theme i i suppose like you know, hmm. so that's right. the thing in the blood right and in, when we speak about chanakya chanakya's niti and politics has to be related yeah, and sure. we have a question out here from sheldon um, who asks does any uh, does one see chanakya's niti in today's political scene or is it a lost art of course right we see today a lot in fact don't we see in current in fact today up's elections are coming we are seeing right. seeing lots of niti right lots of uh, planning strategies going on some ministers are going in coming up you know changing the parties changing the rules so i think that's what i say no the plans remains the strategies remains but how do you execute it it's always a uh, different right right absolutely right and uh, before we go ahead with the book i would like to make an announcement saying that um, i'm sure you all must have been aware of story broke it's a monthly short writing challenge and we are heading towards the month of love the valentines month and i guess it's a perfect time to write something related to love because love is something which is a very special factor in everybody's life and uh, book reads is here with the story brooks the monthly writing uh, challenge so you can pen down your stories and send it to us and it is absolutely free and you can find your uh, entries out there and uh, with no registration fee and the last day to submit your entries is on february 28 2022 and i hope you guys are not late with it and write down your stories and submit it to us we are really excited to read yours all right uh yeah coming back to the chanakya chanakya's niti and the modern politics uh well we would like to know more about the book something which we quite often miss out during uh, you know the reviews what we are reading or something of that sort so is there anything which you would like to add to it Yeah I just want to say that don't go by the name of the book always don't judge by its cover don't judge by the name you know it does not always the history and the politics there are many different characters coming there is different stories winding up so definitely go and read this book for you know it's it's a great thriller book which you should not miss anyone <laughs> right i mean <laughs> the characters uh, what would you like to describe about the i mean one way we know chanakya is a real character being portrayed out here but alongside yeah. uh, do you think the modern day story what is happening out here is it given a very realistic touch or is it something which is quite uh, unimaginative or what is it like the characters 
yeah yeah it, it's it's you you can connect with you know because you know when uh, when i said about that slum child bean her name is chandani gupta in that uh, book uh, you know she when i said she was not aware that she was being a part of some plan who has been planned to move to the political career so she will when i said she will go to abroad to study and all eventually she will fall in love you know she will have the child she is in the verge of marriage you know ending up in a relationship but you know there is a plan that this was not in gangadhar mishra's plan that she was not yeah. supposed to be in any relationship and how well they craft the story like how she will be brought back to the india and how she will be uh, into you know playing a you know that political woman it's it's thrilling like how it everything up and down her life goes up and down and how well she takes you know that's you, know, you can imagine all political women in our country that you know, mm-hmm. it was not any reference to anyone like i just did research like if he had taken any reference of any political woman story but it was not the case when he ashwin mentioned in his Oh, you know, interviews. It was his fictional character. What he said, but it's mm-hmm. also I said it's just not political story. Also, it's it's a story of a woman. Also, how uh, she faced all hurdles and just all it was a plan of one man who planned right. it all. Uh, firstly, it gives a very awestruck feel when we are talking about a woman being, you know, being a part of a plan and yes. uh, something that we usually don't imagine it to be. Yeah. And that's why we say politic politics is like a war and a blood. What you mentioned in a trailer, right? right? That, that it comes to the same point. They are playing with someone's life, you know. But again, yeah. she was very, you know, because she was a slum child, and he has picked her up. He has provided the good career, good education for her. So she was bound to that commitment, you know, to fulfill. But she was not knowing that what has been planned behind her back. So right. that's something interesting i want to add apart from chanakya's part of the story right and i guess i mean uh, that gives us the that sums up the book review what we wanted like a parallel story running between the ancient history and the modern day politics where we get to see thriller and uh, some unimaginative happenings which we surely yes. wouldn't think of and at the same time we'll get a you know a glimpse and glance of Uh, how our ancient history was how rich our heritage was and how still it plays a significant role in modern day happenings which i think is a very prolific and uh, you know very crisp uh, crisp and uh, grasping yeah. book i would say most important it will teach us how we should stick to our plan you know you know, we all make plan and when we forget because of laziness or some or some you know excuses but that will right. teach you like I believe that too. that's how it's important right. i mean i surely fall under this character i mean this you know where plan everything but when yeah, it comes to it you know, okay yeah procrastination hits really yeah. hard everyone is a dreamer right everyone is a planner but who right, executes right. it that that's challenging right i mean executing also in a right way not like just going yes, uh, yes. you know in the path of going of execution of it Well, yes, yeah, yes. that was about Chanakya's chant, a very prolific, crisp writing by Ashwin Sanghi, where we will get to see a blend of most of the things what's happening around, which gives us the modern day happenings with the glimpses of our ancient happenings, which I think is the best part of the book. And this was a live session by Book Reads. Book Reads is a community where we try to connect all the like-minded people. who would like to connect in terms of books literature authors and everything about the books so if you would like to join us on this community then just tap on the link provided and you will be directed to the whatsapp group where we can have really fun and a very good conversation about books because books is something which everybody has a different perspective about and with every different angle it brings us to a different note and a different perspective towards the book and uh, yes you should also know about the story brook challenge uh, it's a monthly story writing challenge uh, by the book reads at this month being uh, the love month the february month what we are approaching towards i think you all should pen down your stories your beautiful love stories what we would like uh, to read and where you tell the word about your love and your thinking towards it and the last day to submit in your entries is on february 28th 2022 on the rostrumdiaries.in/storybook and we will be really excited to look forward to it and i guess uh, you can also pen down uh, ms vandana you have been quite a very prolific writer in terms of uh, romance and fiction and so on so i guess even you should try it on this 
Yeah, I, yeah, I should. I will definitely. And just it's thousand words. It's pretty interesting, you know. The right, short. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. with every uh, different age group, the love has a different angle towards looking into it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I guess yeah, you all should try it. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying something. All right. Yes, that brings us end to this. a wonderful live session by bookreads where i completely enjoyed knowing about the chanakya's chant by ashwin sanghi uh, the modern day happenings again i'm repeating this because that's the main point of this book uh, which i guess everybody should pick and uh, before we conclude if you would like to give us uh, five reasons for us uh, not to pick this in the next shelf like any five reasons which you would like to provide Ah uh, yeah, because our first being, you know, um, it's it's history. Everyone should know about the history, you know, because it's again Indian history. And mm -hmm. second, about uh, you know, strategies, planning, how well someone has executed it. And third, the prolific writing. If someone is keen on taking career as a writer, then how well you have to groom your writing skills. You know, switching back and forth. past and present is not an easy job so that's the key mm -hmm. thing we have to take it and fourth it's a thriller book you will not be disappointed it's it's a page turner and fifth because mm -hmm. it's an indian author because i first give preference to indian author because we have so many great indian authors running we're craving for the you know someone to pick it up why not give right, right. pick an indian book every month i got that side suggest that i think so a perfect a you know a, a very right no i mean that point completely makes sense because a lot of indian budding yeah. authors are there who are having immense talent yeah. but they're not getting the scope and the exposure which they are supposed to get yeah i think that's a I, perfect picture i agree because their foreign authors are good they're great in fact but you know when you pick one foreign author make sure you pick two indian authors because even if you has want to become a writer you think why someone is not picking because you're not picking anyone's indian author book right so right. make sure because it's indian Indian people, Indian business, and you want to show to the world, right? So pick, make sure Absolutely. because they are great in their north, right? And we need to get great news right. also, right? So as uh, said earlier, Indian author, more specific, Ashwin Sang is writing and ancient history, modern politics, and everything about it. So I guess now Chana Kya's chance should be your next pick, absolutely, because it's gonna be mine for sure. And I can assure you about it that I'm surely gonna enjoy it by the review what I've just heard it do. And thank you so much to everyone for joining in. This was the live session by Bookreet, and this was me, Swati Kulkarni, your host for the evening. I hope you all enjoyed this session because I thoroughly did it. And if you would like to be a part of this community, then just tap on the link provided, and you would be directed towards the WhatsApp group where we will be discussing of more more such genres because. So far, we have spoken about self-improvement, thriller, mystery, and this time something for blend between mythology and the modern day politics. And do let us know what you feel about this. And uh, we would like to connect you with the next live session. And till then, goodbye. Stay safe and stay safe, healthy. All right. Thank you.